Baylor's win against Texas Tech kind of reminded us why Seth Russell, the Bears junior quarterback, was a Heisman guy heading into the year, even though he had a quiet first month. He can move the ball with his arm, obviously, because this is Baylor. He can also move the ball with his legs. He's actually Baylor's best dual threat quarterback since RG3, which is saying something. He's got big games ahead. Obviously, TCU will define their season, but Russell's going to put up numbers on what might be the nation's best team. Nick Chubb really needed Georgia to remain undefeated just to keep pace with Leonard Fournette in his own conference, let alone Ezekiel Elliott and the other great running backs across college football. They got blown out, they got destroyed, essentially ending Nick Chubb's reign in the top three or four guys for the Heisman. Long way to go, he'll have great numbers. Right now he is a distant fifth or maybe even sixth in the Heisman race. Speaking of Ezekiel Elliott, he's a bit of a dark horse for a reason, not because no one knows who he is, but because of what the formula might be for Ohio State moving forward. Cardell Jones has not been great at quarterback. They haven't gotten great play from JT Barrett. It might be that Elliott gets the ball and is asked to do as much as he was asked to do against Indiana when he had a career high 270 plus yards and a bunch of touchdowns. That might be Ohio State's formula moving forward. And if that's the case, Elliott's gonna put up huge numbers, maybe carry this team to the playoff. And if he does that, I mean, he might be right there with Fournette for the Heisman. LSU running back Leonard Fournette, obviously still the favorite. We've mentioned him five times already. He's got a big test coming up against Florida. LSU has looked good, Fournette's looked great, but not really against great teams. Florida might be a great team after what they did to Ole Miss. Fournette, he's the key to the whole thing. His Heisman campaign is in full bloom. If he has 200, 250 yards, 180 yards against a really good Florida defense, he's gonna just take an even bigger lead in this thing. Here's a fun wild card to think about. Utah quarterback Travis Wilson. The Utes are undefeated. He's played really well. He was injured for a bit after hurting his shoulder against Utah State, but he looks like a much better passer. He's always been a great athlete. As long as Utah keeps winning games, Wilson's going to continue to be a guy who's kind of on the outskirts, maybe in the mix for the Heisman.